mid cap movers some notable moves that we are seeing in the market today let's talk about some earnings then insecticides india reported a strong set of quarter one numbers the management has guided for double digit ebitda margins for fy25 they're anticipating strong growth in the b2c segment as well rajesh agrawal managing director of the company is joining us now to discuss this further mr agrawal good afternoon thank you so much for joining in you indicated in the press release that b2b and export division face challenges due to lower pricing and un unfavorable market conditions these two are around 29% of your total revenues can you give us a sense of what is the pricing situation right now has demand recovered and going forward do you expect some recovery in these segments yeah the market has stabilized now and the prices are, are uh, i would say they have already touched the bottom and there are slight uh, increase which has already started happening so what has happened to the b2b segment is since the prices for certain products have come down a lot so even after doing the volumes in the international market as well as the b2b segment they are not able to achieve their numbers so they are trailing behind a little but i am quite hopeful that in this year in the complete year they will achieve uh, their targets and they will not trail but yes the b2c business is really growing and particularly our premium segment where we are focusing and they are the engines for our growth so all those products are really doing very well actually and very well accepted in the market so uh, since uh, we have the major growth coming from these products and that is the reason that our performance is showing uh, good results uh mr agarwal welcome to the show uh, you know one more question you said that the b2c is going to be the engine for growth or could you quantify how much do you expect that growth to come by as far as fy25 is concerned and another question you know last time you joined us you said that there are quite a few products in the pipeline in fact you indicated around 6 to 7 new launches you also had a tie up with a japanese company has that come on stream has that contributed in q1 and uh, you know going forward what is the kind of product pipeline do you have we have a very strong pipeline i still say like there are five more products which are in pipeline now and they will be coming uh, in this quarter some products and some uh, products will be coming for the ravi season and uh, uh, they will be introduced also uh, uh, in the market so our new products are uh, doing very well actually in the market so the products which are launched in the last four years they have contributed more than the, more than 500 crores in b2c segment and the products which were introduced last year they have contributed 50 crores and this 50 crores has come when the products were delay in their uh, launches so all those products have shown uh, very good results in q1 and in the q2 they will continue with the uh, uh, good numbers and we should be able to show substantial increases in them so the vision is that from our premium segment we should show a strong double digit growth actually yeah, really so okay uh, double digit yes go ahead mr agrawal yeah it will be a strong double digit growth from these premium uh, products and our only focus of growth is from these products actually we call them focus maratnas and maratnas which have already contributed rough to roughly about 60% in q1 and last year contribution from 51% had increased to 59% our vision is that we wish to grow these products to 75% in next 3 years that is of the total revenues or the b2c revenues b2c revenues okay you know you said you indicated you are expecting 10% revenue growth and 20% volume growth in the b2c segment i just wanted to understand does that mean that pricing will be lower because the revenue growth expected here is lower than the volume growth and will this volume growth be led by new capex which is coming up you have the dahej plant you're talking about more focus on premium products can you explain the uh, rationale for this guidance yeah when i say that volume growth is coming yes the new products are supporting and they are going to the market and of course they are leading to the volume growth uh, when uh, we talk about the b2b uh, b2c business or the brand business here the uh, everything works on the credit limits actually the credit limits of the network is fixed the staff they have their targets and accordingly they have to work the sales teams in the market so sometimes when the prices go up the volumes get a hit but at this time when the prices are uh reasonable or i would say affordable so the volumes of the uh, target products are going up actually and season is also favorable because uh, the rains i'll not say that across the country they are very very stable but more or less the crop condition is overall very good which means that this uh, kharif season is going to be very good and since the dams are already started filling in most part of the country so the expectation from ravi season is also very good so overall Mr. Agarwal, yeah. yes yeah. you are talking about strong growth just to follow up on that when you say newer products will lead to volume growth uh, there is no pricing pressure that you are seeing in the b2c segment i just want to confirm that 
prices have come down but at the same time the inventory prices has also come down i mean to say my purchase price is lower it is selling at a lower price in comparison to the previous year but in percentage basis the margin is not uh, poor it is uh, it has increased year on okay. year mr mr agarwal okay so now that you have spoken about uh, margins let's talk about ebitda margins ebitda margins this year you said that you will come at double digit now yes. this particular quarter you know you have come close to the 11% mark you know after being in single digit last year now what kind of visibility do you have and could you give us an exact number as to what exactly will be the ebitda margin uh, and the guidance that you can give for rest of fy25 exact things are very difficult to say but i'll say that in the complete year we'll maintain the double digit margin so 10.89 is something which is visible in q1 i'll go a little cautious for q2 the q2 the sales looks good how much we are able to capture and how the things behave that will depend on that because if there are floods uh, then there might be a different situation and if that flood really leads to a loss or it is a small loss which gets recovered so so many factors are there but still broadly i am very very sure the way i look at the season in the entire country and also in the international markets that our ebitda will not decline below the uh, double digit num uh, percentage okay Quickly, Mr. Agrawal, if you can uh, tell us, uh, exports, they've been under pressure, but what is the target for this year? You had indicated 150 crores for FI24, but because of demand weakness, yes. it came in lower. What is the FI25 guidance here? The, the target will remain, will not uh, bring down the target, because uh, yes, there is demand. Uh, there are uh, uh, a lot of issues which we are facing, but I think the things should improve because the freight cost has already started coming down. Currencies issues are there in certain countries, but I think we should be able to resolve that. Thank you so much for your time, Mr. Agarwal, and thank you so much for joining us here at CNBC TV 18. We'll now slip into a short break. The management of SP Apparels joins us next to discuss their Q1 numbers and the way forward.